Hello everybody, Kevin here back to 94 and welcome back to the channel and today I am going to be uh, uh, making this uh, review video for Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Now, this is probably a little bit strange because I usually do uh, review videos after I do a full playthrough but I just kind of just want to talk about the game a, l a little bit just to pretty much tell what I like and what I didn't like about this game and if you should recommend this game or not. And, uh, but yeah, I will still be doing a full playthrough. I will upload the full playthrough uh, after this video. But regardless, uh, let's get this started, guys. So it's going to probably be a little bit longer. Just consider I'm going to be talking about a lot of things about this game. Like, even though I do like this game, this game definitely has a lot of problems. And uh, I'll, I'll, be sh I'll be straight with you. I do not recommend this game. Like, I do like the way it plays. Like, it plays a lot more better than, uh, why, oh, excuse me, Burma Hunt Talks. <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit tricky, because I am doing live gameplay while doing the review, too, so I'm gonna be a little bit, you know, focusing on taking out the targets, but in the meantime, uh, let's talk about the game. And, uh, yeah, like I said before, uh, to be, uh, to, to be honest, uh, I would not recommend this game. And the reason that is as well, if you have played Wildlands before, and... I'm sure you all have played, most of you all have played that game. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing, essentially. It's the same thing. You go around exploring bases, doing raids, etc. The only difference is that you're not finding cartels for fucking goddamn once, because I'm kind of really getting sick of the cartel trend that's going on lately, you know. Every, every fucking game, big games or movies, uh, always make the cartels, you know, the bad guys always the cartels, every time, and it's, it's like, come on, that's boring as hell, like, do something different. Frankly, it's good that this game went for the pirate contractors, but, I don't know, there's something about this game that I just really just, I don't know, just feel disappointed, like, it's just, it feels the same, really, like Wildlands, like, it looks a little bit better, but, Actually, uh, take my word on that. It it looks good in some aspects, but most of the time, uh, the, the visuals in this game just don't look that great compared to Wildlands. Like, I don't know. You probably won't be able to see in the video, but there's like some weird shimmering effects on certain objects, especially the character models too. Can't really point my finger uh, towards it, and the view distance just looks even worse compared to Wildlands. Like, I don't know. Like, I think the visual definitely took some downgrades from, uh, Wildlands. You know, like I said, there's some aspect that looks really good. Like, look at this. Look at this grass, wind effect on the grass. It looks great. You get that in Wildlands, though, of course, but in this game, it looks a lot more realistic with the grass. But once you get a little bit further, the view distance just looks awful. Like, I don't know. I can't, I can't really put my finger on it, but Wildlands uh, view distance doesn't look as half as bad as this. But I haven't played that game in a long time, so I can't really say for sure, but... Yeah, I don't know. I think the visual in this game kind of just took a downgrade. Especially on, like, certain NPC characters, too. Like, I think the most detail you'll probably get on any character model is probably Walker, uh, Nomad, of course, and uh, a few other essential characters, but... The generic NPCs, they, they don't look that great. Like, I'll, I'll probably show you, try to show you a good example wants to take out some of these guys out. Well, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. <laughs> but yeah, this is don't look that great. Look at that. Like, what's that textures? Like, come on. Well, this is gonna go bad pretty soon because I'm fucking up so bad. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just that it feels the same, really. Like, even the side mission, especially. It's the same thing. You hack this computer, gotta defend the side for two minutes, which is the exact same freaking thing you do in Wildlands, which I absolutely hate. So, I don't know why. I don't know why I, I even think about you. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Oh, Ubisoft will try to do something different with uh, Breakpoint. Now, it's kind of the same. And that's why I kind of feel a little bit disappointed. And I am glad that Ubisoft has decided to do the Uplay subscription stuff. Because I got to tell you guys, this game is not worth $60. Not by a long shot, guys. <laughs> this is not a $60 game. And that's not even the biggest issue. The biggest issue is that this game is so unpolished and just very buggy. 
a lot more buggier than Wildlands in my opinion too. Like, I don't know. I can't like there'll be there'll be most of the time I get stuck in things. And uh, and there's this and just the whole movement system is so clunky. Like I get it that they're trying to make it a more realistic shooter, but are you gonna make this a realistic shooter? Like you might as well go all the way. It's like I have a feeling like the realistic aspect of this game, like the survival aspect, is just tacked on. Very half-ass, very lazy. They didn't even bother to try to balance these things out at all. Like they mentioned, oh, you gotta eat food and drink water, but all that shit is bullshit because they mostly they just serve as buffs for your character, making combat a little bit easier for you. But regardless, they don't play any huge essential role in the whole gameplay at all, which I kind of find it a little bit disappointing. And let me take out this goddamn sniper real quick before we talk anymore. Okay, and uh, yeah, this, the, just the survival aspect in this game is just disappointing. And it's just, it serves no purpose besides giving you combat boost. Like right now, uh, right now, I, a, a combat rush and it gives me a little bit more accuracy, but. But if you really get in this game, like uh, any first person sh or any shooter games in general, then you honestly don't need it. It's just to make the game easier for you. That's pretty much the whole point of it. But yeah, like I said, it just does not serve a purpose. It's just, it's just half ass. See, like right there. See, uh, headshot obviously is king in this game. But the only problem is, is that combat difficulty despite you know playing extreme or advanced this game is very 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 easy to the point it's not even a joke like you will see in my playthrough that I killed a lot of big uh, big bosses characters uh, big bosses uh, enemies I fight throughout the whole game and they just die like nothing you don't even have to get a headshot if you can actually sneak up behind them you can actually knife them that's how easy this game is and matter of fact, you can actually kill Walker in the very beginning of the game if you got the balls. Like it's not gonna be easy, but you can. And I've seen it, and it's freaking hilarious, considering that he's the big main antagonist, and then you kill him early on in the game in the first ten minutes, which is fucking you know hilarious. So essentially, you could cheat the fuck out of the game and just kill Walker in the beginning of the game. But it's not easy, but you can. You can do many ways, shoot him in the face, or go up to them person and knife him to death. Anything works. But it, it, I just find it a little bit hilarious that, oh, this game is going to be, you know, difficult, realistic. This game can be difficult, but if you're very careful. Uh, oh, wow, this guy is pretty damn close. There we go, take that sucker out. But if you're very careful in this game, you can, you can easily cheese the fuck out of this game. Oh, shit! Ooh, wow, that was close. Ho, 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 ho. But yeah, you could cheese the fuck out of this game. This game, I just find it a little bit too easy, in my opinion. Like it's just too easy. And like I said, they're trying to make this game a hardcore game, but it still feels like a, a casual game. So it still feels very casual in many aspects. Like you could go extremely hardcore, play on extreme and without hood, if you want the ultimate challenge. But even without that stuff, I don't know, it's, it's, it's still probably going to be easy regardless. It might be a little bit harder on solo, but if you're very careful, uh, I think this game is very beatable with no head on solo. But obviously you're playing co-op, uh, the game's going to be a lot easier. That's the whole point of playing co-op, make the game, get the game a little bit easier. And uh, as you can see, Oh, let's talk about the gear system too, by the way, because I'm gonna... The gear system in this game, pointless. Absolutely pointless. Oh, wow, that guy just got wrecked. So, pretty much they ditched uh, the old system and the old gear system in uh, Wildlands and decided to implement a Division 2 and uh, Division... Division 2 Destiny style gear system, which serves no fucking purpose, by the way, because... It doesn't matter what gear level you have, it's just you can still kill this high level enemies pretty easily if you can get a headshot on them. So, like I said, no point. Like, the difference in this game is so easy. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, the gear level does not mean shit in this game as long as you play it real careful. Now, if you go against the drones, that might make a huge difference though, because the drones in this game are the most annoying enemies to face in this game. But, regardless though, uh, 
yeah, gear system, pointless. It's just in a way, it's just, is there, it's a gameplay mechanic in a way just to make you, you know, feel like you're powerful enough to, to tag on these high level enemies. But in, in reality, you can actually attack this high, this, this high level bases like nothing as long as you play it safe. As long as you get the headshots, it should be no issue because headshot in these games are one shot kill no matter what. Which is how it should be. But the only problem is that, you know, the combat different kind of just doesn't make any sense at all. We might as well just get rid of it in general. So what I would like to see for the different setting, the sh if you play on extreme, this should make the survival aspect a lot more hardcore. Like you have to eat food and drink water, you know, you know those type of stuff. They, ha they have that in Far Cry Primal. I don't know why they didn't bother adding that in Big in Ghost, Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Like I think Far Cry Primal did a good job uh, uh, on that survival system. It's not as you know in depth like any other survival games like Rust and Daisy, which you don't have to make it too complicated at all. You know, just make it you know a function so that way it gives you the purpose to eat food and drink water. But in this game, it serves no purpose at all. So yeah, I think yeah I think there should have been more in depth on the survival aspect stuff. But like I said, they feel half baked and half ass and just overall lazy. Uh, and let's talk about the expl uh, the open world design and the exploration. I f I fucking hate it, guys. It's the same shit, just like Wildlands. Like it's like the same shit in every Ubisoft game every year. It's the same shit with this open world design. You go around doing repetitive missions. They make it so big to the point like I don't know. It's just t too big. Like, that's the reason why I stopped playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey, despite, you know, me liking the game and in this, and, and this Greek setting and the story, but I just didn't bother to finish that game because it's, Ubisoft added too much content. I know, right? It sounds crazy, right? I'm complaining about a game with too much content, but let's be honest, having too much content is not good either because... Now you now you can't you're not gonna be able to do all that shit on time, especially if you have like a job or you have a family to take care of. You just don't. I just don't got the time to like just explore everything. I got other projects that I need to do too, so I can't. I don't want to focus on one game for for a long time. So that's the reason why I kind of. I will probably be coming back and playing some Odyssey again, but not anytime soon though, because like I said, that game is just it's so big. Like by the time I'm, I started playing, by the time I'll probably start playing that game, that the next Assassin's Creed is probably gonna be coming out, n like next year or something. Like it's ridiculous, guys. Like I don't know, Ubisoft needs to s stop relying on making open world games and stop making some, you know, good games for once. You know, like li like making some more linear style game, make a new Splinter Cell game. Like hell, we make the first Ghost Recon games. With a new engine, but keep the gameplay format, you know, just uh, as close as possible to the original format. Like Ghost Recon, in a way, is already a little bit open world already, but it's still linear because it's not a whole fucking map like this. Like, can you imagine, guys, a remastered Ghost Recon, and then remastered, uh, not like not even a, like a uh, re like a port remaster, like a, a proper like reimagine. Of the old Ghost Recon game, can you imagine a remastered version of fucking Desert Siege and Island Thunder? Like my God, that would look absolutely amazing. And what would be more amazing if they do this? If they do decide to do that, they keep it with the original setting. Like you get the old school guns, uh, woodland camo, three color desert camo, BDUs, Cold War weapons, etc. Et like the the possibilities are endless. Like if Ubisoft do that. I can guarantee a lot of people would definitely buy it, and I know for sure I would buy that too. Like it would look so, it would look really good with the the latest uh, engine they're using for Breakpoint and Wildlands. Like it would look fucking amazing. But more likely they're not gonna do that because, like I said, Ubisoft is too too reliant on uh, too reliant on open world games, and I think that's gonna probably be the downfall. Or maybe not. I'm probably talking shit about Ubisoft here, but. Like, I can only play so much open world games at a time, I just don't, I don't got the time. And like I said, the mission design for most of the side missions, extremely boring. It's the same shit you do every day. 
and uh, I don't know this game is just eh. uh, story uh, uh, definitely some improvements uh, from Wildlands you actually do care about some of the characters in this game uh, and uh, but I still think the story in this game so kind of you know so kind of lackluster so regardless like Walker is like like Walker is like you know the main antagonist you think you know more about you know you see more screen screen time of Walker especially that he's he's been played by John Bridger now the guy who plays as the Punisher and that is you know he is a big name actor too so you figure you see more of him like more screen time but honestly you don't get to see him that often at all you only see him like fla uh, flashback cutscenes and that's it that's all you get from Walker. Like the hype for Walker is literally pointless if you don't really see him as much, which I kind of find it really, really fucking disappointed. It's like, okay, so you 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 get all this hype train on board with John Bridgenon playing as a uh, Walker, and then you don't give him no screen time whatsoever. Like, you, it just there's no not much cutscene on him. There's not much background story in him as well. And I just find it disappointing that they decided to do that way. Like, it's just lazy. Like, it's just a, a waste, a waste of potential. Like, like, come on, man. So you got a big name actor, and then you don't give him too much screen time at all. You only give him a few cutscenes here and there, and that's it. That's all you get from Walker. Or you can just go up to him in the beginning of the game and just knife Walker <laughs> early in the game. I don't know. It's pointless. It's fucking stupid. Like, it's a it's a waste of opportunity in my opinion like like I think I should have done much more with Walker's character especially you got a big name actor like that to play you know play as well but huge opportunity wasted as I have to say and uh, what happened to the the characters that you see in the launch trailer uh, you got uh, I forgot the name but you got the snap the Asian snapper guy the, the, the black guy and then you got the lady they play a huge role in the trailers with like they're supposed to be Nomad's teammates. Yet, where are they? Where are they in the main story, Dice or uh, excuse me, Ubisoft? Ubisoft, where are they? Why do you show them so much in the trailers? Yet you don't put them in the main game. What's the point? What's the point of having them in the game if they don't play a significant role at all in the freaking main story at all? They don't exist at all. Apparently, they're supposed to be they, those those three are supposed to be your AI teammates, but I guess Ubisoft uh, didn't have time to implement them. So at the moment, it's just you running around. But uh, excuse me. Uh, but apparently, they're gonna add them later on in the game, which is like really you didn't have the time to add AI teammates at all and add any story or even quests or even any missions at all based upon these characters at all like what the shit man like what's the point they promote them the fuck out of them in the trailers but then you don't see them at all you get to play as them but you don't get to see them as an NPC which is like I said disappointing wasted opportunity too like I don't get it I just don't get it and uh, of course but not least let's talk about the microtransaction, the microtransactions kind of garbage in this game. Uh, I'll, I'll just be honest. Like essentially, a lot of this gear sets are mostly paid cosmetics, and they're not even that great looking. There's some good ones, like this, like the the wolf characters that you fight in the main game. You, you do get to wear this stuff, but you have to buy them as that's, that's the catch so it may look cool but you gotta buy them and uh, no let's go with the more bullshit right here all this cool camo here you see tiger stripe marpat uh, dcu all this is paid cosmetic besides the atax and the multi cam camos but most of the good camos you gotta unlock them or buy them with real money i don't have problem unlocking them but the thing I really hate the most is that they lock most of these camels behind a paywall, like the good shit. Like especially the iconic Marpat camel, which was originally in Wildlands for free. But now you gotta pay them now. You gotta pay for it in Breakpoint now. Which I find it fucking bullshit. And then on top of that, Tiger Strap 2 was in the original game too. And you didn't have to buy that. But now you have to buy in Breakpoint. 
which is fucking bullshit. Like, I, I hate this type of fucking practice right here. It's like, why? Why do this way? It's so stupid. Like, look at this. All the iconic camel. You have to pay with money. And then some of them are locked behind fucking loot crates, aka battle supply, which, you know me, I don't like loot crates in, <laughs> in most games because it's just there to fucking, you know, it's, it's literally a gamble. You're either gonna get something good out of it or you're not. Like, I know my experience in opening fucking battle packs in Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 4. It's, it's fucking bullshit. Like, I hate this type of shit. And let's check to the store real quick, too, by the way, guys. Because I want to show you some even more bullshit, too. So, you see all those weapon blueprints here? You can buy this with real-world money. But most of these weapons here, you can get them while exploring the game. And even though you find a blueprint of it, it still shows it that you can still buy them. So why? Why? Just why? Like once I unlock the blueprint, they should not even be listed anymore. But they're still listed here still. Like, it's just stupid. Like you can essentially, you could cheese the fuck out of it. Use real world money, buy all this assault rifle bundle, and then boom, you have them in the beginning of the game. When really you can just explore the game. You can explore the game, go raid bases, and you unlock all these weapons, essentially. Besides the signature weapons, those you gotta pay for money. Which, I understand, those are unique weapons, they look cool and all that stuff. Let's take a look, let's take a look at it. See, this one doesn't look too bad. And then the 416 shorty, eh, that one's not bad either. But, you, you only get a few of those. Like, right now, they don't have too many skins out for them yet. But yet, you can still buy this blueprint for his weapons when you can just explore the game don't have to spend a single money on them at all like at, at this point uh, I, I have been a game buyer so uh, of my playthrough I have unlocked most of this weapon blueprints if not almost all of them like there is a few I still need to find but regardless though uh, I have found most of them so you don't need to buy fucking money in this don't spend money on blueprints please just don't, because you can find them in games. And, and the scopes, too. You can use this to buy attachments, too. And this is fucking bullshit, too. Because you can find all this attachment throughout the whole level, too. The muzzle brakes, underbarrels, the wells. Like, like I say, guys, don't 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 spend any money on this. This is, this is bullshit. Vehicles, too. Uh, see, this right here. You can get this in-game. And that costs 1500 So how much is that going to cost? Let's check. Uh, ghost coins. Uh, see, that's gonna cost you fifteen dollars essentially. Fifteen dollars to get to unlock a vehicle when you can get that for free by using in-game money to skull credits. Like, like this is this serves no purpose. This fucking story. Like, if you're gonna ha have micro transaction, have stuff that you cannot get in the base game. But most of this shit you can get in the base game, and this is fucking bullshit. Like, don't 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 give Ubisoft any money on this fucking bullshit, cause you can get some most of this shit in game. Like, yeah, it's gonna take time, but you know it's free at least. You don't have to spend real world money. Oh, and get this fucking emotes are also in market transaction too now. So you gotta spend money too for fucking emotes too, and then fucking tattoos as well. And some of this, look at this, the ego attack too. I'm not sure you can get this in game, but regardless, this bullshit. Melee weapons too. Which is pointless because you're not going to see the knife that often either. It's very quick when you do those uh, execution kills. Like, it's, it's fucking bullshit, guys. Like, I, I can't really say it. I, I, could go, I, I could go on and on about the microtransaction bullshit. But. I do want to say one more thing about the market transaction is that they will be adding uh, like paid XP boosts and time savers shit just like they always do in their fucking open world game because they make them as grindy as possible to the point you know that they, that they, it just makes you want to just spend real world money just to fucking you know make the game progress faster less grindy and all that shit like it's fucking bullshit I, like like it just, it's not needed, it's hard to say. It's not needed this market transaction shit, but to only put it there to make some extra money and to make the player, you know, f 
you know, just fucking just make them more annoyed in the game to the point, all right, I'm going to pay real world money to make this game go fast, uh, to make everything go faster. And I don't think games shouldn't be even made that way. And I have a feeling, you know, when Ubisoft decided to release the new Watch Dog games, uh, Watch Dog Legion, they're going to do the exact same shit too to make the game grindy as hell. And then add market transaction for XP boosters or in-game money boosters. I don't know, all that type of mumbo jumbo. And it's not very hard to level up in this game either. Level 30 is the max level for now. They might increase it uh, as the expansion pack comes out. But, you know, I'm probably not going to be playing this game for long. Like, I probably will come back to it once Deep State comes out, which is going to be until March next year. So that would give me p plenty of time to take a break from Breakpoint before I decide to come back to it, or I just might avoid this whole game in general. Like I say, it's just lack lack lackluster this whole game. The mission design for the most of the side mission is fucking awful. It's the same shit just like in Wildlands. Some of the sound cues too in this game, like being detected or spotted, it's the exact same sound cue from Wildlands. The animations also looks like this from Wildlands too. And everything, it's just use a lot of assets. We use a lot of assets from Wildlands. Like, I don't know. This game, I just call it Wildlands 2.0. That's all I gotta say. But enough with the negatives. Let's talk about the goods. What I like about this game. Uh, the gameplay. Oh, okay. That's not good. <laughs> uh, yeah, the gameplay is very good. I do like the new gameplay mechanic. Like, especially for the gunplay. And uh, and even though I did talk shit about you know how easy it is to headshot people, I do like it that way because in Wildlands, uh, everything is a one shot kill of any of anywhere in the body limb, as long as you're not detected. If you get detected, they become bully spongy as fuck. But in this game, like I said, there's no there's no really true different uh, difficulty settings because you could just headshot them in the face and they'll die regardless. You could be going against a level two hundred. And you should be able to kill him pretty easily. But yeah, headshot is the king of this game. So always go for headshots. And that's what, I don't know. There's something about the gameplay that just makes me, you know. It really feels like you are stuck behind enemy lines. And, uh, and doing some special, you know, special op, you know, special forces mission. Blowing up shit up. Like, it is, it does have its moment though. I do really like that. And uh, I don't know, like the gameplay, the, f the overall feel of it, like it just feels so much better compared to any other games I have played. Like, why even Wildlands doesn't compare to this game either. Oh, I just missed a weapon truck. And uh, and uh, one big good thing too is that the story is also, like I said, it is a huge, it's a little bit of improvement over Wildlands. Because in Wildlands, you don't really give a shit about anything. You don't care about El Sueño and the Quartels and you know who cares about those guys, you know. This just did a look intimidating. And there we go. And I do like it that you can play this game however you like too. You can either go stealth, you can either go uh, gung ho, or you can be a sniper from the distance and uh you know, just pick them off from the distance. And I do like that you can, you know, spice up your play style once in a while. Right now I am using the assault class which I haven't used at all. I've been using the panther class for a long time because I like the I like the stealth place. I like the I like the stealth in this game so I, I I tend to play as the panther class a lot more than assault but I am testing out the assault class right now. Just to see how it is. Assault class essentially you go in there loud and you got the special abilities, special abilities too. So if I use this true great ability, I I have less recoil, I take less damage. Pretty cool stuff. Panther is pretty much your self playthrough. You can use that to vanish. You can use that to like uh, you know self play you know play style. You also got the special ability where you can use a smoke screen to cover you out of retreat or to you know attack them head on without them realizing it. And I do like that place though, because each class play each classes play a role. Like you got the medic, which has a, a drone that can revive from a distance. Like you don't even have to go out there and revive them at all. You can get the special drone 
that literally revives people from the ground. So essentially, you can use that to get people out when you're in like a hot, you know, very hot situation. And uh, I, like I say, I like the play sound it. And the sharpshooter, you know, good for long range, you know, combat. You also get better bullet penetration and materials, etc., etc. All the good stuff. And uh, I do really like that stuff. Like it, it brings more in depth of the gameplay itself as it is. And uh, and uh, that's I think that's all I got to say for it for the class system. You know, you get you're always work. What the fuck is this? That that's gotta be Easter egg, right? It's gotta be Easter egg. I don't understand what kind of Easter egg is it, but it's gotta be an Easter egg of some sort. And uh, they, I, I think they did. I think there is some Easter egg in this game. Like Nomad was talking to one of the scientists. She did mention about uh, dinosaurs, uh, you know, find lasers from their eyes or something like that, which is a huge reference to uh, Far Cry Blood Dragon, which is absolutely amazing game, by the way. But it's some Easter egg. I wish to kind of add some more Easter egg. They're all going to be adding a Terminator style mission uh, later on in the game, so that might be interesting. I might come back to it uh, on uh, once uh, once the new expansion pack Deep State comes out uh, on around March. But uh, and uh, like I say, uh, you know, I'm talking about the graphics too. There are some areas in this game that looks just looks fucking beautiful. Like I said, the wind effect on this grass looks great. The grass textures actually looks good. The lighting in this game looks really good. And the character model especially, uh, they look, do look really good. Just just like I said, the NPC characters don't look that good at all. But the the, the main characters, at least, they look really nice though. And uh, let's see what else I need to talk about. That's what I like about this game. The... Uh, I think that's all I got, really, for what I can talk about this game. Really, <clears throat> it's not too much I can talk about. Like that's, like I said, this game does have a few good stuff, but not much, you know, not much with it. I do, I do really appreciate though that you don't have to worry about dodging fucking Sam's all the time because in Wildland, this is one area where you got, you got to literally fly low just to avoid the Sam, and it's just, it's not fucking. It's not fun at all to dodge stamps all day. And on top of that, you don't get any flares at all to you know to stop the missiles from hitting you. Like there's nothing at all. And Wildland suffers the same way too, which I fucking hate flying aircraft in there. But yeah, that's all I got. Was that's all the good stuff I got to say for Wildlands. It looks great, but overall, it still plays like any other generic Ubisoft, you know, open world game. Just that. It's Ghost Recon now. Ghost Recon has fallen into that character right now, which is a real shame because I played the first Ghost Recon game back in the old days, and man, it, it was something, man. Like it plays great. It's fucking hard as hell, though, but it, it plays good, though. Like it's just it was good, but now they just fall into this generic open world fucking bullshit. Now it's just that now the game is just boring now. Like it, it, there's no, it's just. I don't know. I, I just find it lazy, in my opinion. Like, I do appreciate the art design and all that stuff, but you're gonna create the same shit every year with the same stuff with crafting and uh, exploring here, make the game so big to the point it's overwhelming at first. Then, I don't know. I don't know what's. I don't know what's the future holds for Ubisoft. You can bet your ass I probably would be playing the games a lot lesser now, considering Breakpoint is. At the point, I am literally on the verge of Breakpoint because this game drives me fucking nuts sometimes. And uh, it's just fucking boring too, so... I'm just gonna probably avoid playing Ubisoft games for quite a long time, if not avoid... If not, not play them at all. Like, I'll probably like upload a few videos of them here and there to highlight, you know, the good things about the game. But, I don't know. Like, Ubisoft really needs to step the game up and... Start doing something more innovative. Stop making this fucking generic open world style games to the point they're just repetitive. Do something creative, innovative. Don't fucking just do the same shit every year because I'm pretty sure people are getting sick of this shit too. And uh, I don't know the reviews for this game yet, but I think a lot of people are kind of mixed on this game too, which I am also mixed on this game too. But uh, regardless though of all the bullshit I talk about this game, and 
like all the bad stuff. Uh, I still like this game. It is a good game. Uh, it is a really fun game. It's just that I don't see the point in playing this game anymore once you do all the main missions and most of the essential side missions. But uh, yeah, just it's, just it's overall meh. Like I would not, I highly would not recommend buying this game at a full price of sixty dollars. You really want to try this game out? Highly recommend you guys just buy it, buy it when it's on sale. Because like I said, this game is not worth the sixty dollars. Considering how short the storyline is, and how much of the the stuff to boast about and the gameplay mechanic is absolutely flawed. So uh, yeah. I would just give it. I might give it this game like a five out of ten, or yeah, I think five out of ten is is it's a fair fucking rating. Cause like I said, it's not a bad game. It's not a bad game, but it's not a good game either. Don't don't spec anything. You no, know, absolutely amazing in this game. Like if you play a lot of open world Ubisoft games, and yeah, you could you expect to you're probably gonna be expected to know. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to explore this huge ass map here. And do some crafting, and gotta worry some, and you gotta worry about some stupid level system where you can't go in, into certain areas. Or you're gonna get absolutely wrecked. Like I don't know, I don't like that. Odyssey has it, but I think it fits very well for Odyssey, considering it is a, it is a fantasy style game. I don't care if it's based on real, real world events. It has Medusa, Minotaurs. I could, it is safe to say, Assassin's Creed Odyssey is a fantasy game, to say the least. So yeah. <laughs> So we'll see what happens for the future Ubisoft games. Like I said, I probably will be just uploading a few videos here and there on the on the game, and then after that, I'll stop because there's no point doing a full playthrough because it's just gonna be too long. Like my Assassin's Creed Origin video is like 24 parts, and most of the time, I'm just exploring. That's all I'm doing. I'm not even progressing to the main story at all. If I do, then it takes like three episodes before I finally get to the story stuff. So. Yeah, <laughs> so I think the last big uh, Ubisoft game I'll probably do a proper playthrough is probably Odyssey and Breakpoint, and then at that point, I'll probably just stop uh, uploading Ubisoft games for good. Maybe some Siege though. See, Siege is the first person shooter game, so that is a completely different category. But but yeah, I'm probably be done with Ubisoft game for <laughs> for probably forever. <laughs> like I'll still play them, but. I'll, you probably see a whole lot less of them on the channel, that's for sure, so keep that in mind, guys. Oh shit, oh shit. There we go. Well, anyways, guys, that is my two, That is my personal opinion on uh, Ghost Recon Breakpoint. And uh, I'll probably do, like, I would definitely do a raid video. I definitely want to check out raid as well as some Ghost War. And then that will probably be the end for Breakpoint for now. But other than that, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, if you guys uh, enjoyed the video, uh, hit that like button. You guys didn't hit the dislike button. It's all up to you. And I would like to apologize if this review uh, video is a bit longer. I just want to, you know, express my full opinions and thoughts on this game and and why this game kind of failed to live up to expectations. But you know, you guys make your own decision. If you guys think this game is worth the money, my personal opinion. I wouldn't buy this game on sixty dollars. That's all I gotta say. I would even definitely never not recommend spending a hundred dollars on a game to get the season pass. Absolutely not recommended, guys. But uh, anyways, guys, uh, like I said, check this game out for yourself. You can also check out check out this game on U uh, Ubisoft uh, UPlay uh, Plus on the PC. You can try this game out for fifteen dollars per month. You get access to the full game, and uh, I am very glad I only spent fifteen dollars. And besides a few uh, skins, as you can see, uh, like the Mario Pad here, I did buy that because I wanted it, so I bought it. So don't be like me and fucking give Ubisoft money with the market transaction bullshit. So <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I think I'm I'm good for now, guys. So I hope you guys are having a great day. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to see any other game you want to suggest for me to play, leave the comments down below, and uh, I will check them out. And until then, guys, I will see you in the next one. Peace. And uh, I did not realize I have this huge-ass fucking C4 block in my hand this whole time.
<laughs> Look at this. This is why the open world games has so many flaws because there's so many bugs. Look at this. Look at this. I have a C4 literally sh strapped on onto my fucking hand right there. It looks ridiculous. I never seen that issue before. Wow. Okay. Wow. This game is so broken, so by the way, guys. Ubisoft really needs to fucking polish this game. It still needs a lot of polishing, so guys. So make Ubisoft fucking fix this game pronto, cause it needs a lot of fixing. But anyway, guys. <laughs> hope you guys have a good one. Peace.